Hi everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, okay. So I, right, let's start from the beginning. Obviously the world is not in a great place at the minute and I've got to be very, um, hmm, sensitive to these things right now and how I um, come across online. And I came over on Instagram a few days ago, if you follow me on Instagram. Um, I was in a place where I was very confused um, and I didn't know moving forward what I was going to do with my content um, because I'm an overthinker and a warrior and um, I was like oh do I carry on content like it's normal and people will have a go at me for not really taking anything that's going on in the world seriously but um, obviously I am and I am really concerned about things as a lot of people are, and obviously don't want this to be about me, but in terms of my content, I need something to take my mind off of it whilst also being really cautious and aware of what I'm doing. Um, so you guys were amazing as always and said, Mark, just carry on with your content. Just sort of be aware of what's going on, obviously. Um, and just people want to take their minds off of what's going on as well right now. Um, so basically, I just thought I'm actually self-isolating now um, because I think that's what people should be doing if they have the luxury of doing. Um, I want to nip this thing in the bud. Uh, so yeah, I've cut off all contact with my friends, which has been really hard, and like as well as everyone else, we're all sitting at home twiddling our thumbs. Um, but yeah, in order to stop this, um, we've got to follow some rules and to protect the people I love the most. Um, I'm, oh God, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm taking the steps to be cautious so I can protect the people that I love. And um, yeah, we can just move on from this crazy thing and carry on. Oh God, it is a very crazy time, a very serious, scary time and people need to take this very seriously. Um, so we can just move on with our lives and yeah, make um, the world back to normal because I think that's what everyone wants, obviously. I also think using this time wisely to reflect on how you are as a person and how we shouldn't take things for granted. Um, obviously me trying to see the positives in, thing, in things. Um, I don't know, I'm just really emotional about the whole thing, so I don't, I don't know why. I'm just a very emotional person, so just look after yourselves. I am going to see, I am going to keep putting out content because I want to be able to watch content of other people to make me feel better. For days where I'm just sitting inside, um, I need to keep my mind busy. So yeah, today, moving on, just I love you guys and I hope everyone is being okay, Jesus. So, we're going to move on from this ugly thing, and um, we're going to clean my flat today from top to bottom. We're going to have a good old day, just cleaning, organising. The weather is, weather's not actually that bad, so there's a bit of sun somewhere. So, we're going to do a spring cleaning video of me just cleaning my flat, organising, sorting my life out. Because a happy home is a tidy mind. Nope, what is it? Tidy flat is a tidy mind, or something like that, you know what I mean. Like, I use my Instagram now as a place where people can just like vent and talk about their feelings. Um, so in the comments, if it's not even related to the video and you just want to get something out about how you feel, guys, as usual, you can put whatever you want in the comments. No judgement, no obligation, and yeah, just, just try and make everyone feel at ease and better, and that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to do... Um, so yeah, let's move on from this and forget I got emotional. Actually no, we're not going to forget that because it's okay to be emotional because it's a scary time and no one has to pretend to be well together. <laughs> I'm going to start off by showing you my spare room which is completely done, aka my friend's Hannah's room because she's always staying here, love you Hannah if you're watching this. It's completely done, it's completely done now. Um, let me just take you off this. This is it, I finally, after two years, got a lampshade. I'm shaking, sorry. After two years, I finally got a lampshade and I just feel like, apart from the new purchases here, which I'll show you, um, yeah, I'm all done. 
I may be like a rug, but I'm not gonna go out and buy like a, a rug for the sake of it. Um, because why would I do that? This is the room where I come in and tan because I don't know why this room has like uh, Have I just seen a crack in my wall? Oh no, um, this is the room where I fake tan my face Believe it or not. It's more natural in this room. I've got more space to walk around I don't know why it's exactly the same as that room next door, but I don't know why, I always just fake tan in this room. So if you've been watching my Instagram, you know that I've been thrifting a lot of my clothes. I've been really conscious of not buying clothes for the sake of it. You know how much I love clothes and fashion, you know, but I've got to be sensible. So I've taken a dip into the charity shop world, the thrifting world, the vintage world, the vintage worlds, and um, it's been amazing. Like, am I gonna shop on ASOS again? Of course I am. Am I gonna shop as much as I used to? Definitely not. I'm gonna show you a few things that I got from ASOS the other day. Starting with, I'm sorry about my hair. Starting with the love of my life. Um, I'm also going to affiliate link these in the description, if you don't mind. Um, haven't done that in a few years. But these shorts, they're like a Borg, a Borg, Borgie, Borg? I can't pronounce them. They reminded me of the Kim Kardashian cozy wear. They are so comfortable, knitted, and they fit amazingly. These are 20 pounds. I'm gonna wear these for the rest of my life. Obviously, I've made an effort and I'm wearing, oh, my feet are so dirty. <laughs> I'm wearing trousers today, but once this video's over, I'm gonna be putting these back on. Obviously, you have to wear underwear with them because they're really see-through, so I don't wanna be showing my junk. The next thing I bought was this. I love this. Um, I just, I feel like it's like quite hippie-ish, like quite peace. We all love a bit of peace. Uh, there's nothing on the back. I love the dip dye effect. Glucose, don't know what it means. I just really like the fit. I'm into oversize. I really like this. Um, it says something about space. I'm not a scientist, so who knows? I mean, I just, this is just like, can we just stop? Like imagine me on holiday, like walking around with a little box bum bag. It's fake leather, it's really chunky. I could put everything in my flat and the kitchen sink in this. I really love it, it's so stylish. I just, I just, I'm obsessed with it. Like look, come on. This is me walking down the street, but I obviously can't be walking the streets at the minute. Plug in a little Henry, shall we? Or Henry who? What's it called? Speed? Is it a speed run? Speed montage. You wanted this content? You're getting it in bucket loads, I'll tell ya. You wanna see me hoovering? You're gonna see me hoover. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easily. <sighs> Okie dokie, why does it smell? <laughs> oh. Right, here we go, let's show you, shall we? So, apart from these bits, which I'm going to be putting in my main bedroom. Oh my god, why does it smell? Ooh. This room is always, always clean. So, I don't even need to dust down, it's so clean. Please don't take this the wrong way, but obviously I live alone. And sometimes I never use this bathroom apart from when I have a bath. Um, sometimes I forget I have it. <laughs> so, um, this is also a place in my flat which is also always spotless, unless after a party. Dirty friends. Um, I'm joking, they are really clean. Hello. <laughs> Can you see me? Okay, so we've got all my Zoella Beauty um, perfumes here, and this is the nicest candle. I've stopped actually lighting it because it's running out, and I don't know if I can ever get this again. This is the Hyacinth Wax Lyrical Candle and it just smells amazing. This is all my products for when my friends come round and they can use it. Just give it a little spray and then we can wash that. Glass of red wine, a couple of mini eggs and a bath. Oh, okay, that sounds amazing, I'm gonna do that. We've got all the Kim Kardashian and Chloe and Courtney perfumes because I just, I get so, um, what's the word? Intrigued to what they smell like. All my fake tan. Oh, here's a deodorant. Yay! This soap and glory thing is like divine. 
So I'm just gonna have a little spray. Cannot believe I'm showing you my toilet. Oh look, these are the Oscars I won at our friend's part at my friend's party. I think it was craziest guy. <laughs> um most kindest and biggest party animal? I can't remember. Me and my friends had like a little end of year awards night, which was really cute. And I won three awards. I've never won anything in my life, to be fair. Um, so, I cried. <laughs> it's me toilet. Sorry, I'm running out of toilet roll. What a surprise. Put that there. And I just want to show you something. Mrs. Hinch, I'm coming for you. Okay. She's probably she's probably already um, promoted this or whatever. But this thing called Foam Aroma Self-Acting Fragrance Powder. I love this. Just a little bit. Oh, look at that. That is the most satisfying thing you'll see all day. And you just leave it in there for a bit. This cleans and it just evaporates and it's just amazing. While that fizzes away, I'm gonna make myself a coffee and then we can move on to my bedroom. Also, I just need to point out, just because I don't use these, these two rooms as often as my other ones, doesn't mean that I don't clean them often. That makes sense. I do clean them, just not as often as my other ones. Just before anyone's like, Mark, just because you don't use this flat doesn't mean it doesn't get grimy. I'm aware. My mum told me. Okay, I'm all good. All right, I'm just gonna clean the shower now. Oh. Beautiful. That's all ready for me naked bum to sit in later. Beautiful. Do I need to hoover in there? Yeah. This is my main wardrobe where I have all my clothes. The other day, my mum, sister, and my dad came around, but my dad didn't help. He just sat on the sofa watching Hunters because he helped in different ways. Um, so we went through all my clothes. I have a Depop, I have a Depop account, which I'll let you know in the future um, rather than now. Um, so yeah, so we've got t-shirts, dark. We've got new stuff. Um, we've got t-shirts with like, what's it called? Stuff on it. Um, we've got jeans, we've got joggers, and at the bottom we've got like, who do I think I am trousers, which basically means we've got, we've got the corduroys and we've got like the trousers with stuff hanging off of it um, when I'm feeling a little bit daring that day. And then in here, sorry, down the bottom is don't know if you can see it, it's just my pyjamas. And then I've got my dirty bin under that, you don't need to see that. And then along here I've got like shirts and other jumpers and um, clothes that I laid out for future events. But um, they're all cancelled now, so I'm just going to close that. But in here is my underwear, which I'm going to put away now. Um, you don't need to see that unless that is your thing. Um, in which case, you're on the wrong website. <laughs> Unless it comes to a point where I have to sell my underwear. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was a joke, that was a massive joke. Three things we should be doing right now. Keeping safe, keeping sensible, looking after our family and friends, looking out for each other, and making sure we can't lose our light, our positivity, and our laughter. I do realise that was more than three things, but after me sitting down, putting my underwear away. I had a little think, and I just felt like I needed to say it. <laughs> so, let's um, move on. So, I've just put the oven on because my favorite thing to eat at the minute is um, roasted mini potatoes um, seasoned with garlic, garlic pepper, paprika, and hot chili powder. Sounds insane, I know it is. Um, and then I put mayonnaise on them. Um, and a little bit of Tabasco. So I'm cooking them now and I want to show you my other room, um, all my <laughs> all my bed sheets if you want to see. All matching, my sister did this. Amy, I know you're watching, really appreciate you. And your ability to match up pillowcases and um, quilt sheets. <laughs> pillowcases, bedding, sheets, bed sheets, more duvet covers. Down here is my printer and some headphones. These are wheels for a basket. Sometimes if I'm going for a massive weekly shop and my little arms can't carry more than three bags, 
So what do I do? I put all my shopping in a big basket and go through the checkout. Number one, genius. Number two, don't need to get new bags. And number three, it's easier so I don't break my arms. I hate this. I hate that these are exposed. Like when my friend Hannah's sleeping here, she turns around, she's got to see them. So I might decorate these in a certain way. Not sure yet. Up here, my biggest fan. In here is me jackets. Here we go. And down here, it's Christmas time. So guys, we are now at the place where all the magic happens. And by that, ow. I mean, um, my face, how I keep that in check. Um, so it's just scattered, it's a mess. It's organized mess. I clean it every two days, but by the end of the next morning, it's exactly the same. So yeah, we're just gonna tidy this up and if I find anything that you guys might enjoy or want or benefit from um, during, I'll let you know. Uh, yeah, a couple of things I always get asked about my under eyes. This is the concealer I use, Cover FX in the shade um, P Light 2. Um, yeah, always getting asked about on my under eyes. Um, because I just really take care of them. And I also use this for under my eyes. It's the La Roche Posay uh, B5 Halleloo Replumping, Repairing Anti Wrinkle Cream. Um, this was very expensive, but you can't, you've got to invest in an eye cream. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I will never give up buying eye creams. Never. I'll give up alcohol, I'll give up buying shops, not buying shops, <laughs> buying clothes, I'll give up anything. Eye cream? Nah. Never. Not even if the love of my life was like, do you know what? I'll be with you, but you've got to give up buying eye creams. I'll be like, I'm sorry. Piss off. Um, castor oil, amazing for my eyebrows. Um, I also use it as a hair mask sometimes and it's great for eyelashes. Don't know why, when I sleep on my pillows, I must have aggressive night's sleep. I wake up the next day and I'm missing eyelashes. So this is really helpful to make them come back where they should be. This, I think, is the best um, lip balm you can get on the shops. This is the Lip Repair by O'Keefe's Cooling Relief Lip Balm. Um, I love this. I honestly, or just tap it on. I feel like it gives a bit of a plump as well, so why not? This moisturizer is amazing. All-in-one egg mellow cream. Genuinely love this so much. It's so tightening. It just makes me feel like I'm tight and I just love being tight. So I think that is everything I need to show you. So I've just put my potatoes in the oven. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, let's speed run this. Woohoo! I'm worth it, guys. I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh. Hey, I know some people are gonna think, Mark, you've just literally poured everything over to the side. I am gonna get a little desk tidy when I can, but right now this setup just works for me. You know, when you just see something too organized, you're like, oh my God, I'm so overwhelmed. Um, but this just works. This just works for me. Okay, so I'm gonna make my bed and um, hoover, and then this bedroom's done. I'm not really proud of myself for admitting this, but did I fall asleep the other night eating Doritos and didn't hoover it up until now? Yes, I did. Um, was it worth eating Doritos in bed? Yes, it was. <laughs> All clean. All tidy. That is a horrendous angle. Currently just watching um, a Friday night dinner. Oh my God, if you haven't seen it and you're in the UK, watch it on um, 4OD. If you're not from the UK, um, Amazon Prime or Netflix. Um, it's so good. It's just getting me through the days, to be honest. Basically, it's about a British family who just have Friday night dinner. And all the crazy shenanigans that happens it involves an auntie and it involves a next door neighbor with a dog. It's just, if you ever want to know what it's like at my house, watch that. <laughs> I found a piece of sweet corn on the floor. That is disgusting. Good job I'm hoovering. Oh, so here we have the roast potatoes. Nice and crunchy, just how I like them. Little bit of mayo, little bit of tomo go. <laughs> my brain just completely died then. Little bit of mayonnaise, little bit of mayonnaise and 
a little bit of Tabasco. Riveting pieces of content, my roast potatoes. <laughs> I'm now gonna do a quick speed clean of the kitchen, do some hoovering and um, yeah, just make it all nice and tidy and air, open all the windows, just get nice fresh air in. And yeah, I'll see you in a bit. I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me break in your sweet. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear. You would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Ooh, hey. Guys, we have done the living room. Oh, it's looking lovely. It smells so fresh in here. Everything's clean, everything's hoovered, everything's tidy. Look how clean that is, bloody hell. Um, yeah, feeling really happy about this. I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna have some food, get some energy levels up, and then obviously later on tonight, I'm gonna start my um, ensuite, and then we're gonna have a bath. That sounded disgusting, I apologize. Sometimes I speak to, about myself in third person. I'm gonna have a bath, and you're gonna watch me. No, I'm gonna have a bath and I'll set you I'll show you how I set up for a bath. Bloody hell. See you in a bit.